One of the first things I learned about you was the joy and happiness you bring when you walk into a room. But what I've learned about you is how truly loving, selfless, and resilient you are. I feel when I'm with you is peace, the feeling that I've been searching for. It is not a place of only content, but of immense love, joy, strength, and compassion, knowing that you are my person. phrases that I wrote down because I wanted to make sure that he knew that, uh, that I loved him. We were on a, a random trip with my family and we wanted to find a spot where we could, you know, have family and have adventures and do all the stuff that we wanted to do for, for my kids, for parents and grandparents and all that kind of stuff to be in, base for that. And so we found Orcus and we were able to come to this house and just fell in love right away. I think it goes without saying that having this wedding on Orcus adds to the beauty of this night. A place with this much nature and solitude is inherently beautiful, but what makes it magical is the love and vision that Ken had when he sought to create a space for nights just like this. And Jenny, uh, Ken had you, a woman that loves and is loved by his son, in mind when he envisioned this place. This place is meaningful. Josh, you and your family spread his ashes here, and you feel his presence here. It just has an endless value and significance. The pond was a special part about this place that we really, really enjoyed. When my dad passed away about four years ago now, one of his requests was he wanted to spread his ashes here. Pons was a very specific spot that he wanted to be. Everything here is, is special because of what my dad wanted to do and what the purpose of this place was for him as well. And so now we just get to keep that that legacy and that, that dream alive and add to it. Okay. Alrighty. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, sometime today he would have whispered in your ear what I heard him say to you a million times when you were little. If you took all the little boys in the world and lined them up, I would choose you every single time. And I think he would say that about Jenny too, that he would have chosen her for you as well. One of the things that makes me, I guess, sad is that Jenny and my dad didn't get to meet. And I know that um, he would have loved you. I love you more than any fight we'll ever have. I love you more than any distance between us. I love you more than any obstacle that could ever try to come between us. I love you more than anything. So from now on, when I say I love you, I don't just say it out of habit. I say it as a reminder of this day and these promises. I just adore you. That's great. I'm so thankful that I get to call you my wife and that we get to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. <laughs> Josh and Jenny, from this moment moving forward, your family, friends, community, and indeed the entire world will know you as co-travelers through life, adventurers, soulmates, and of course, husband and wife. Josh, you may kiss your breath. Josh, the first time you brought Jenny home, it was clear that you had found your person. You were so relaxed to yourself and grinning from ear to ear. Jenny, you are equal parts strength and tenderness. You stepped toward our family in the middle of our pile of babies and our deep grief. And we all fell in love with you, especially Avery. Now Denver. Now Denver. Yeah, Denver. Oh, now Denver. I know, oh, I didn't even. Man.
In short, you are a gorgeous badass with the most beautiful skin we have ever seen. Ever. Ever. Yeah, and we are thrilled that you are ours, legally. We're so happy for you, and we're so excited to hear that Jenny has actually persuaded you to take the Stiffelmeyer last day. You two have always chosen each other from day one, and I remind you to always look fondly at what connected you from the outset of your relationship. I'm honored to take part in your special day amongst everyone here. Thank you.